<laughs> Knocking people out in UFC 4. And it really reminds me of the time that. I don't know how it reminds me, but it's, it reminds me of when I had a manager who was a heroin addict, unfortunately. Um, it was during, I think he got fired like three months ago. So it was very, very crazy. I was like, damn. He was my manager for about a year, year and a half. Been doing this work shtick for about two and a half years two and a half painful years but that's another story for another time he was a part of i guess not what well, i guess but he was a part of like the top five or like the fab five if you know that reference then good for you he was part of the fab five of managers and my, my job i think no three of them left two of them stayed Two of which became um, just regular managers, but I had this one manager. His name was Zach, and he well, he was supervisor, but he was just so cool to the point where we all considered him like a top tier manager. We all loved Zach. We all loved Zach. Crazy thing is that he was uh, he was a transformer. In a sense, like he used to go by the name Alyssa, and then he went to Zach. And regardless of who he was, he was genuinely like one of the best people to have ever worked at my job. He was chill, he didn't cry about you having your phone out. And if he did see it, he'd ask for you to put it away because you know, the manager's gonna start crying if you do that. When it came to the druggy, oh, when it came to the manager who was addicted, uh, he was chill too, but he was very annoying. <laughs> like I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna be rude, but he was pretty uh, annoying because he'd hunt you down to know what you're doing it, it's very weird when managers do that and then they get shocked when colleagues slip out on them especially when you're in high school i'm i was still in college well i still am in college now but at the time where he was still working you know he was very it was very condescending you know i think one of the bigger one of the bigger things that you should focus on if you're ever a manager is treat your employees with respect and I don't think that ever happened <laughs> during my work hours when it came to him and colleagues who were in high school and their phones and it, it would really happen like managers like him they have this ideal that because you have your phone out that you're gonna prioritize your phone over the customers, which happens very rarely. The only time where we're ever on our phones is when the line is dead. But even when the line is dead, there's always something to do. I hate when they do that shit. I hate when they do that because it doesn't make it. it is, it's just so annoying because literally 30 seconds after we're done, the line rushes through and then everything's on the floor everything's on this yes the ceiling yes people throw things on the ceiling i remember when we had a black friday i was unfortunately assigned a shift that was like from 3 to 10 30 so 3 p.m to 10 30 p.m i was the closing shift and basically there was pizza on the floor there was a loaded diaper the back area for customers to like relax, sit down, charge their phones, and things like that. There's th there's vomit there. Uh, there was stolen merchandise, but people were stealing underwears, boxers, uh, panties, bras, and you name it. Bro. People are stealing everything. Like Black Friday is like generally one of the worst holidays in American history because people are just different. Like I don't understand how you have this mentality that 
you're an adult, right? You're an adult with your child, but you prioritize an item that costs $2 less on Black Friday. You prioritize that over your own damn child. The amount of children lost on Black Friday in, in my job, it, it's ridiculous. It's like six kids every Black Friday. There's always a child saying, you know where my mom is? You know where my daddy is? I'm like, how? You're, you're 56 losing your children, bro? I'm like, what? I'm like, damn, dude. That's crazy. And then not to mention the, oh, the attitude. That attitude, bro. I remember I set up this lady, right? She was with her kids. And she was rushing me. And I'm like, bro, you can't rush me. Because <laughs> if I mark something wrong, you know, when I scan something and it's wrong, I have to correct it. But she, oh, she's rushing me, she's rushing me, she's rushing me. She's like, hurry up, hurry up. I have things to do. I got to pack presents. I got to do this. I got to blah, 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 blah. First of all, that's a you issue, okay? Not not me. That's that's a you issue. You're an adult and you don't have your priorities straight. You mean tell me you, you want to have kids, but you don't have your priorities straight? Come on now, that's crazy. That's tough. Anyways, she continues to rush me. I mark something wrong. Shocking. And then she comes back. A day later, talking about, oh, you screwed me over, you son of a, you know, I'll come there and beat your ass. All this nonsense. I'm like, uh, ma'am, if you just let me finish properly, this one have been an issue. Like, oh, look at this attitude you're having. I'm, I'll be disappointing your parents. Like, what? What? You got the audacity to talk that crazy smack to me about my parents. Oh, you bimbo. Oh, she crazy. It's just, it's just wild, bro. It's just wild how customers just act like children whenever they get into the store. But that's that's enough for my tangent. Let's get back to my managers. Basically, he was um the manager that was set on uh that was fired for his uh I'm not really sure why he got fired actually. I don't want to assume that it was because of his heroin addiction, but you know, working at my job is not all sunshine and rain. The, the especially from a manager standpoint that you have to take the customer side most of the time so it probably puts a lot of stress on you because you have to you have to fake a smile essentially and you know i don't like that at all you know so i can't wait to quit that job after college we'll come back with a more interesting story with with the days uh, at work. Yeah. So I'll see y'all next time. And have a nice day.